farmer was in court for beating his girlfriend. Here's the video from our affiliate, WJW. You can actually see Farmer here yep, attacking his girlfriend at the time in her apartment. He's hitting her in the head, he's kicking her, and he's trying to break free. She's trying to break free. Well, do you feel sorry for him now for fainting in court? You probably don't. But the young girl in this video, she may be his ex now, but she says he's a good man. I don't know what was wrong with him that day. Um, he, I know he was a good person. I hope he still is. I hope he learns from this. He really needs help. I don't think Jill will give him that. The defendant shall serve a term of three years, years which is the minimum, on count one of that. As to count two in that case, felonious assault, a felony of the second degree, it is ordered that the defendant shall serve a term of two years in prison on that count. As to count three of that case, the robbery, which is also a felony of the second degree, the court uh, orders that the defendant shall serve a term of two years on that oh, count shit. as well. I'm now here from the judge who sentenced the guy. She spoke with HLN's Jane Velez Mitchell. Even as she stood before me, she was, you could tell, petrified, and she specifically said she wanted nothing more to do with him. And again, you have to remember, too, that when he was released on bond after the initial kidnapping, felonious assault, and robbery charges were filed against him, he violated a no-contact uh, with the victim protection order that had been in, put in place to help protect her. Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Talking Crazy 88 back again with another episode for you. Just getting ready to go to work and um, got to get out of here in a few minutes. But I wanted to do a quick video before I headed out about that, uh, about that nigga, Tony Farmer, the nigga that beat up, that was caught on tape beating up his ex-girlfriend. And I saw that tape of her, of this nigga, knocking, uh, punching her right in the face, dragging her by the hair into a corner and repeatedly slapping her hitting her in the head, beating her down. And the reason behind it was because she broke it off, broke off the relationship with him. Um, she got, he got mad and he got angry and he did what other abusive niggas do, was go over there and, and, and beat her down. Probably because he was, she was talking to another nigga or whatever. Now, this punk ass nigga was bailed out of jail on ten thousand dollars bond and threatened this woman that he should have did more to her. Now, at first, I probably, you know, thinking because this was a black woman, she probably said something or did something to precipitate that that action. But even so. That doesn't merit this nigga coming to her house, whooping her ass like that, and then threatening to do more, much worse to her. See, and this was a, a, a sick, it, it doesn't matter what the height or, what, or the size is. Um, I'm just going to go on the merits of it. This, this boy, this nigga had a bright future ahead of him. He was set to go into college, play college ball for a Big Ten, probably a Big Ten school or, or, or a division or a big time division one school. He got office when he was a 10 years old, uh, when he was in uh, junior high school. So this is how good this boy, this is a good of a basketball player he was. And prob probably after years of college ball, he probably would have been an NBA prospect. Now, instead of this nigga working on his game, all right, he's out there trying to get a girlfriend. And this is what I'm telling you young men out there who are in high school, who are listening to this video. Or if you know someone in high school, they should be listening to my videos right now because I, I, I want to I tell you guys something. And you guys need, really need to hear this, okay? All right? If you, if you have a gift or a talent, that you that you're blessed with and you set off to go some go do something great 
or do something miraculous with your life. Don't fuck it up by playing a jealous boyfriend or abusive boyfriend. This nigga was, was, a, was an abusive man. This is, this is actual domestic violence right here. This is not bullshit domestic violence that, that these black women or, or these American women like to portray. This is, this is domestic violence. This is, this is beyond de- domestic violence. This, is, this was a criminal assault on a human being, okay, for no apparent reason. There was no reason for this boy, this nigger, to come to this woman's house, this young lady's house and, and whoop her ass like that. None at all. So now, after he, he, he threatened, threatened her that he should have did more to her than whoop her ass, uh, he was in court the other day, and as the judge was reading out the sentence to him that he was going to get three years, you, you should have saw the look on this nigger's face, man, when he, when he, got, three, when he, when he, got, the, when he got his sentence. It was hit fucking hilarious to me. He got three years in prison. And this nigga fell out in the courtroom like a punk ass nigga. This nigga was a thug. This nigga was big and bad, threatening the, threatening the little girl to beat down the little girl. But this, this big old six foot seven nigga was about to get hauled off to prison. For about 180, he's sentenced to three years in prison. But the judge is going to review the sentence after 180 days. So he may get out of prison. He may get out. But he's a convicted felon. As of this point right now, he's a convicted felon. He deserved every year that he got for assaulting this young lady like that. Now... People come on here, and I got friends and family members say that I'm a black woman basher. No, I am not a black, I'm, I don't, I'm hard on the sisters because, again, brothers like me get, always get the short end of the stick. But in this case, this nigga deserved everything he got. Now, if he learned something from this, uh, that would be a blessing. That means God probably touched his heart in his life and said, look, I was out of line. I was stupid. But this, see, fellas, this is how you ruin your life over doing something stupid over a woman. OK, Whooping, beating on a woman that don't want you anymore when you're reasonably good looking and in shape and you can get any woman you want. But you want to lock down one woman. Is totally you're gonna you gonna you setting yourself that you're not married to. You're setting yourself up to go to prison. You're setting yourself up to go into the grave. This is how this is the this is why brothers are in prison right now or in jail or in, or or under the or in the grave right now because of your behavior and your reaction towards a woman that doesn't want you anymore or just over a woman. Just the other day down in Alabama, the one a nigger down there is, is on capital murder charges in Auburn, Alabama for shooting, for murdering three people, shooting six people, killing three of them, over, fighting over some nasty-ass woman that's going to be sucking on another nigger's dick while he's in prison. That bitch ain't waiting for you in prison. She's going to move on with her life. While you rotting away in a jail cell next to a, next to a big buff crazy ass motherfucker by the name of Fleece Johnson that like to feel on men's booty, a booty warrior, you're gonna be in prison with a bunch of booty warriors in there. That's what you're gonna end up if you keep fucking around with these girls, these little tramps out here that that don't give a fuck about you. You should be working. This, this young brother should have been working on his game. He should have been preparing to go to college right now. He should be in college right now. He should be training right now. He should be preparing for the upcoming season. But no, he's rotten, he's rotten in prison right now. 
over because he can't control himself. He can't control his anger. He can't control his behavior. He got to get rid of that possessive behavior because no man owns anybody, not even a woman. Now, it would have been a different story. It's a different story when you're married, but even then, you don't own each other, okay? You don't get to do what you did to that woman, even if you are married. So he deserved every goddamn... It was fucking hilarious the way he fell out, man. You see what I'm talking about? When you act like a big and bad, but when, when you have to go to prison, this is how these niggas react. Well, listen, I got to run. This is Talking Crazy 88, and I, I am out of here, people.